Okay, so I'm going to go through the products real fast um, that I will be using. I have here, uh, this is just a generic rubbing alcohol, and I will be applying this to my face to clean it up. The peel that I'm using today is the Perfect Image Level 1 Pineapple Pumpkin Enzyme Peel, and I really, really like this. If you are new to peels, I do 100% recommend this. Um, they obviously have lactic, they also have like glycolic, but I wanted to show you guys who are new to chemical peels, um, just, you know, something beginner and a little bit more gentle. I will also be applying a hyaluronic acid serum. It's Matrixel um, S6 serum with hyaluronic acid from Timeless, and they make quite a few amazing serums, so I will be using that as well. Uh, this is going to help basically carry all the good stuff from the Perfect Image Hydra Repair Hydra Repair Wrinkle Cream. So any type of moisturizer or day cream, night cream that you apply, any type of hyaluronic acid serum will help it absorb quicker, more thoroughly, better, and deeper into your skin. So definitely a plus. It helps boost anything that you're already using, which is phenomenal. Okay, and then I have here a, you're going to laugh, this used to hold Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I keep the little plastic containers from like cheese and stuff, yogurt, um, if it has a lid, because I use these to mix my hair dye, and I also use them sometimes to make my baking soda solution, so they're handy. I don't have to worry about ruining them, and they're plastic, so... Then I have cotton pads here. Um, I have a whole, you know, I did have a whole bag. Aha. A whole bag of cotton pads, just generic ones. And then I have a foundation brush, and this is by Bell. I'd never heard of them until I found this. It was at Dollar General for a dollar. So I went there on my lunch break to pick up, like, I think it was an energy drink. That's what I usually get there. And then I saw this and was like, ah, it's synthetic. I'll use it for my peels. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my brush out, get it handy. If I can open the dang thing up. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <sighs> Ever have one of those days? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I was like, oh, I want these fancy nails for New Year's. And then now I'm like, ah, oh, there's such a hindrance. They hinder my, my daily activities. Okay, got it out. Awesome, so I have that set here. Now, I do have a little bit of water already in this. What I'm gonna do is take, and I should have already showed you, but I forgot to, so I'm sorry. I have the Arm & Hammer Pure Baking Soda. Any baking soda will work. Um, you can get generic. This was the only one I could find, and it was like 75 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some baking soda into my dish here. And I do about half and half, so half baking soda, half water. There we go. Alright, and then I'm just going to use the handle of this brush to mix it together. And you'll want to mix it again when it gets closer to taking it off, just to make sure. They do tend to separate. Okay. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just, I've already cleaned my face using a face wash, but I'm going to go ahead and take the rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to use a cotton pad. I'm going to just go over my face. I'm going to go around my eyes. Now, I did actually wax my eyebrows the other day. So where I waxed, I will not be using the peel, just because it kind of, wax takes like a very top layer of your skin off. I don't want to push it, so, anywho. This is really easy to do though. I mean, you can get a chemical peel done, like by, um, by a doctor or a dermatologist at a facility, 
but in all honesty, it's a lot cheaper, so much cheaper just to do it yourself. And you, it's, oh, it's ridiculously cheaper. So I always do it myself. In fact, you guys may giggle, but I'm planning on having um, kind of like a girl's night out party at some point where I want to do everyone's nails and do chemical peels and wax their brows, do hair, like basically a makeover night for my lady friends. So that will be very exciting. Okay, so I went ahead and just cleaned up the rest of my face with the rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to take the pineapple pumpkin enzyme peel out of the box. I also have my iPad here so that I can set the time. If you are new to this, you want to leave it on for 30 seconds. I have done it a few times already. And I did try to film, but like my battery would die or just something would happen and I'm not going to do a chemical peel twice in a day. That's like bad news bears, don't do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer, at least get it ready. We'll go with, I'm gonna use it just for one minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on my brush. It has a dropper, which is pretty nice. And I will be putting the product on the brush. And then I'm going to put it on my face. Again, I'm going to avoid where I waxed my brows. And I've already hit my timer. To grab a little bit more product here and put it on my brush. Make sure to avoid your lips because that's bad news bears. I'm also going to get my neck. I have two like ring wrinkles like on my neck and I'm trying really hard to get rid of them. So I have been told that this over time will work. Awesome. My timer is going off. Um, no, I'm actually going to... My boyfriend's playing the new Star Wars game. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take off the top part. I'll leave my neck for just a few... Like, the neck will be the last thing I get. Just because I just applied it. Okay, so I'm going to mix up that bowl. One more time. And I'm going to go ahead and get my cotton pads soaked in the solution. Okay. I'm going to squeeze them out. And bring my mirror over here. Okay. Now, this does not burn. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, like a chemical peel, does it burn? This does not. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, though. And it kind of stinks, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but no, it does not burn. At least, I mean, I'm sure there are some that do. I would assume maybe like the higher in percentage you get. Okay, I'm going to grab another cotton ball. 
and I'm going to go over everything one more time and then I'll work on my neck. Okay. Super easy, guys. Now, my skin looks a little pink, and it will stay pink for about, I'd say maybe about 30 minutes. Um, it's just the chemical reaction, of course. Now, I'm going to go and rinse my face off, and I will be right back. Okay, so um, I did rinse my face off and I waited some time so you guys could see that the redness, it does subside. My nose is always red and it's really, really cold in my house right now. So I have like a little heater on underneath my desk and I'm like trapping the heat. So I'm trying to stay warm. Anyways, <laughs> it's winter. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and just tell you guys the price of these products that I've used. Um, the alcohol, like the rubbing alcohol, that was I think like 79 cents at Dollar General. And the baking soda was like 75, 79 cents, something like that too. And that's Arm & Hammer. And the pineapple pumpkin enzyme peel is $29.95. You can find them on Amazon or you can just Google Perfect Image and it'll take you to their website. I will go ahead and post a link, and it's not an affiliate link, so yes, they sent me these products for review that are from that company, like Perfect Image themselves, but I'm not getting paid, like I've never had an affiliate link. Um, a few companies had actually sent me links to be affiliate links over the holiday weekend, but I wasn't even here, and I didn't check my email, so I've never actually used one yet, so just saying. And then the Perfect Image Hydra Repair Wrinkle Cream, I believe, is $29.95 as well. Um, the Timeless Serum, this is from a different company, but I ran out of my Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and they were kind enough to send me Matrixel uh, Synthetic 6, and it has Hyaluronic Acid in it. So I was excited, of course, because that's the same thing that I've been using already. Um, this retails for $24.95 for one ounce. And, yeah, so that is everything that I used. Um, oh, and a $1 brush. Oh, and I just dropped it. Well, ta -da. So this was like a buck from Dollar General. Now, for those of you who may think $30 is, you know, it is a little bit pricey for chemical peels, but trust me, it's better than going on eBay and finding like a random company that you haven't heard much about. Anyone can claim anything about their products. So that's why I like to try them out myself. <laughs> so with this, I mean, this pineapple pumpkin enzyme peel has a ton of great reviews. I love it. I personally love this. I love this so much. In fact, I want to introduce this peel to my friends because they're all new to chemical peels and I think that they would like it very, very much. So I love these products <laughs> and I have been using this for over a month. I'm quite pleased with what I'm seeing and I'm hoping that I see more results soon to come. I'm sure I will. Obviously, like 15 to 20 peels in a bottle, that's, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to see um, some differences that are going to be amazing. So I have a lot of hope and faith in these products. I love them so far. They've been great. No bad reactions. Just follow the directions, of course. And yeah, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys know how to reach me. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great night.